Hi, this is Tim Holler, and I'm just doing uh, day number 84 of a 90-day video journey. Um, and I wanted just to talk today a little bit about uh, self-image and uh, how a negative self-image can stop you from uh, achieving things and, uh, and living a more enjoyable and happy life. Um, and I was thinking about this earlier today and I was thinking how uh, your negative thought loops and uh, conversations um, that you might have with people can feed back into uh, a negative self-image and uh, I, I was contemplating this the other day and just thinking well uh, I was just trying to work out what things have stopped me from achieving more success and I caught myself in a bit of a negative thought loop of um, oh I should have done this and I should have done that and, and thinking about things in life that I regretted um, mistakes that I've made and uh, things that I, I, I could have done and should have done and uh, it's a completely useless uh, train of thought really I'm, I'm basically asking myself why why am I a failure <laughs> that was why I was asking myself um, and uh, and uh, then I sort of started asking well what why am I asking myself that why am I asking am I why am I a failure because uh, as soon as you ask yourself a question, you start searching for the answers, and uh, uh, and of course, uh, answers come. So whatever question you ask, you're going to get answers that reinforce that that question. Uh, and the question is presupposes that I am a failure, and uh, and it all came back to uh, self image and uh, how I saw myself. Um, and I remember being quite a small child and my dad said to me, I said, about me, oh, it's because he's got a low self-esteem. And he said it in front of a room of people uh, we were with some family and uh, I remember feeling really quite upset about it and uh, embarrassed um, that he'd told everybody that I'd got a low self-esteem and... Uh, but that came up for me um, when I was sort of focused on the this sort of uh, this negative self-image and thought loop, and uh, and I kind of I thought back to that as a, a as a as almost like an implant as to how you how you feel about yourself is usually based on uh, your early childhood experiences. Uh, so um, and. Uh, I also caught myself uh, in a conversation and it was a bit of a poor me. I was running a bit of a poor me. Uh, oh, I don't have this, I don't have that, I don't have the support you group you do you have or something. And uh, um, one of my friends pointed out to me that actually, you know, I do. Uh, and uh, and I thought, oh, that's, uh, that's an old control drama. I, I heard about, I read about control dramas years ago in a book I read called The Celestine Prophecy. And uh, it basically says how we all have these control dramas uh, that we get trapped in because uh, it's a, it's our way of manipulating uh, energy and love from other people. But it can we can get stuck in them and they they don't necessarily help us later in life. Uh, whereas in your early life they may have helped you uh, get support and get love from parents and get attention. But later in life the same strategies that work in your childhood don't don't work necessarily um so I, I kind of noticed two little success blockers uh just uh just today one of them was my uh poor me control drama complaining about my life uh complaining about things that i can't change or control and uh, complaining about my past things like that it's a bit of a poor me control drama and the other one was just uh, my negative uh train of thought which was about oh well why why don't I have this why don't I have that and it's focusing on uh, things I don't have rather than the opposite which would be gratitude 
Uh, so it all comes back to kind of being more self-aware of your 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 uh, the words that you say and uh, the thoughts that you think. Um, so yeah, that that's what I wanted to share today. Uh, so that's all for today. That's day uh, day uh, what are we on? Eighty four, eighty four of of ninety. So nearly there. Thanks. That's it for today. Bye for now.